what, what, yeah. We come to lift him higher. higher. We come to lift. We come to lift him. Hey, we come to lift him. Yeah, yeah. We come to lift him higher. Higher. We come to lift him. We come to lift him. Oh, 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 oh. We call you faithful. 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 We call
release your praise. Come on, release your praise. No matter what's going on, I'll praise him always. No matter what it feels like, I'll praise him always. He's worthy of it. 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 I'll praise him always. And I'll trust him always. 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 I'll seek 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 God always. Lead back to your own. You should seek him always. Seek him always. Seek him always. Seek him always. Now come on and dance before the Lord. Oh! 
your place. Come on and ask him. Come on and ask him. Jesus, take your place. He's a gentleman, so he needs to be invited. Come on. Jesus, take your place. Come on, come on. He's not going to barge in. Invite him in. Jesus, take your place. 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 One more time, say, Jesus. Jesus, take your place. Take your place in legacy. Take your place. Bless him in your own way. Oh, na 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 ya. Oh, na na no. Take your place. Take your place. My heart is your throne. 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 Every other God fade away. Every other God fade away. Every. Away. Every other God fade 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 away. I just really feel a strong sense of recommitment. A very strong sense of recommitment. Dr. Faith confirmed it this morning as she was speaking. Just a heart of servitude. Yes, servants get tired, but we stay on post in our personal lives, in ministry, in business. And as we say, all other gods fade away, just in your own heart, in your own way, recommit to the Lord because he's so committed to us. He's so committed to us. If you want to come down the front and just do a recommitment, a recommitment in your prayer life, a recommitment in your fasting life, a recommitment on how you love, your love life. Your love life has become frustrated. You don't know how to love your sister or your brother, and so your love life is even frustrated. If you want to just come down, lift your hands, and begin to just recommit. It's between you and God. You want to just ask God to help us, to help us, to just help us. We just want your help, God, as we recommit as we recommit even to the simplicity of ministry and the gospel that was so huge for me this morning just recommitting all other gods fade away where you put other things in place god other things we put in place of what's in god we put business in place of what's important to god we might have put money in place of what's important to God. We might have put our marital status in place of what's important to God. God, what's important to you? I want to push what's important to you. I want to push what's important to my God. Y'all don't so y'all na na na. Every other God fade away. Every other God fade away. We trade in every other God for the true and living God. Every small God be cut down in the name of Jesus. It's a conscious decision. No other God, Jesus. Oh, but Jesus. No other God, yeah. We even let go of fears. Fear has become our little God. Where we give fear more attention than we give what God wants. God forgive us, we recommit. Your love is so reckless. Your love is so reckless. It's so reckless. 
no other car. Just press in for a moment on your own. Yep. 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 Hallelujah. Even I recommit, Lord. Even I recommit to my post. I recommit, God. Hallelujah. Whatever I put in front of you, God. Hallelujah. I recommit my ways to you. Hallelujah. 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 Forgive me for every time I went in my own strength. Hallelujah. Teach me how not to go in my own strength. Teach me, God. Teach me, God. Teach me how to rest in you. I don't know how to rest in you. Teach me, God. Show me what it looks like to rest in you so I won't be weary and well-doing so I can reap in due season. I'm missing the reaping because I'm striving. So we bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is not angry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a loving God. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa, for being loving, for being patient, for being loving. hear him keep saying welcome home sons and daughters welcome home sons and daughters welcome home welcome home welcome home he said I've not been too far from you I've always been near you I'll never leave you nor forsake you and even in this moment I'm forgiving you for going in your own strength for going in your own wisdom he says I've always wanted to walk with you I've always wanted to support you I've always wanted to carry you Welcome home. Welcome home. He says, the door is wide open. The door is wide open. This is an invitation of recommitment. Not only to serving him, but living with him and living for him. So we recommit to living for you, God. No other gods. No other gods. No other gods. No other idols. No other idols. No other idols. Whether it's money, whether it's friends, whether it's time, whether it's fame, whether it's popularity, God. We lay it down this morning. We lay it down. Whether it's a desire to be married, whether it's a desire to prosper, we lay it down this morning. Whether it's a desire for children, we lay it down. Every other ambition that we've had that has not been godly, we lay it down. Everything we have chased after that you did not tell us to chase after, we lay it down. Some of us are disappointed because we had expectations that were different from God's expectations for our lives. We made decisions based on what we thought and what we thought people wanted from us. And because they didn't pan out, we're now angry with God. But the Lord is saying, recommit your expectations this morning. Recommit what you expected from living for me. Recommit what you expected from walking with me. I want to give you a clean slate. We're going to be talking about a clean slate. He says, let's do business this morning. Let's talk about clear expectations. Because I want to do exceedingly, abundantly, and beyond what you could think or imagine in your life. But my expectation of you, says the Lord, is that you will surrender. That you will surrender. You will not be half foot in and half foot out. Not in the things of church, but in the things of God. You will not be committed one week and then backslidden in the next week. July is the month of turning the corner. You get to choose to turn the corner from this day forward. From this day forward. I know David is on sabbatical. I don't know if you don't want to, it's okay, but can we do welcome home? We like people resting, but I just felt in this moment that the Lord is just inviting us. And since the single is released, we can sing it. God, we thank you. Come on. Keep recommitting. The music is not the thing that initiates your recommitment. It's your heart. It's your focus. 
God, we thank you that you are here. We thank you that you are near. Oh, we thank you that your arms are open wide. We thank you that we can run to you. And we can give of ourselves. Some of you guys may need to kneel. Some of you may need to lay prostrate. It could be in your chair or wherever. But his arms are open wide. Focus on him, yeah. I am here. Hey, I am here. Don't you fear? I'm right here. Sons and daughters, draw near. I will say what you've waited so long to hear. Yeah. 
arms open wide. I run to you. Yeah. I'm overthrown. after me. I'm overjoyed that you never give up on me. I'm overjoyed that you reach down for me. I'm overjoyed. You never left me nor forsake me. That you are for me, not against me. I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed, I'm overjoyed, had your pursuit, I will trust you, I will follow, I will 
trust you, I will follow. I will trust you, I will follow. I will trust you, I will follow. I will trust. the ends of the earth I will follow to the ends of the earth I will follow to the ends of the earth we will follow we make a commitment to run after you Lord to the ends of the earth we will follow go where you go we will say what you say we will do what you do. Oh. Even as we sing of abandoning ourselves to Jesus, I hear the Father singing over us, I gave myself for you. I gave my all for you. And I'm still giving it all for you. And we'll continue to give it all for you. We're going to break religion today. We're going to break status quo today. And typically when we take the communion, it's a time of, of solemnity. It's a time that we, we read the scriptures. But I think there's no better time to acknowledge the gift of the death and the resurrection of Jesus than this moment right here. So if you have your communion, I want you to grab it. If you do not, please raise your hands and let everybody get the communion. We are about to acknowledge. We have not to acknowledge that he gave it all. He gave it all for us. And we're going to continue singing about how we will respond to him. I'm not going to tell you how to sing. And I want you to understand that those words are not just songs that you sing. Those words are a declaration of a lifestyle that you want to live. And so if you're not ready, you can just watch while we sing. It's not mandatory. It's not, don't feel, don't feel guilty for not singing it. But when you sing it, I want you to understand that you are acknowledging and you are 
declaring and you're committing and you are promising and you are declaring that you are giving it all for the one who gave it all for you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Father. In that same night, before Jesus was crucified, he took bread, and after he had fellowship with his disciples, he broke the bread. They passed it on to give them, each of them, and it says, take, eat. This is my body. As often as you eat this, you do this in remembrance of me. You may eat. that same night before he gave it all on the cross before he went down to ages and took the keys and destroyed and bankrupted hell for your sake he passed the cup and he says take drink this is the new covenant in my blood as often as you do this you do this in remembrance of me you may drink ourselves away so you can use we give ourselves away we give ourselves away so you minutes and we'll transition but we've said we'll give our life away so let's just give it give it let's just break it break it so he can use it use it I give it away I give it away so let's just give it give it so he can break it break it so he can use it, use it. I give it away, I give it away. So let's just give it, give it. So he can't, let me just sing it. So let's just give it, give it. 
so he can break it, break it, and use it, use it. We give it away, we give it away. So let's just give it, give it, so he can break it, break it, and he can use it, use it. We give it away, we give it away. So let's just give it, give it, so that he can break it, break it, so he can use it, use it. He gives it away, we give it away, so let's just give it, give it, so he can break it, break it, and he can use it, use it. We give it away. Your life has to be broken to be used. So you got to give it. Let's just give it, give it. Surrender to the brokenness. So he can break and break. And he can use it. So he can use it, use it. We give it away. Come on. We, we got to surrender. So let's just give it, give it. So that he can break it, break it. So he can use it, use it. We give it away, we give it away. Your life as well has to be lifted up. It has to be broken. It has to be given so that it could be used. Stop running from the brokenness. Stop running from the pain. Yield over. Surrender it all over. Lay your life down on his life. Lay it all down on his life. The Lord's calling us today to a deeper level of surrender. He did it in first service. He's doing it now. A deeper level of commitment. He's not going to take your life from you. He's going to say, give it to me. But the only way your life can be multiplied is if you give it to him. There are things you could do out of your own strength and then you could do things in his strength that you could never do in your own strength but you must yield your desires you must yield your will you must yield your ambition so let's just give it give it so he can break it break it so he can use it use it we give it away we give it away so let's just give it, give it, so he can break it, break it, so he can use it, use it, we give it away, 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 we give it away. We surrender our lives willingly this morning. We surrender our fears, we surrender our regrets, we surrender our shame, we surrender our pain willingly. Because you make beauty out of ashes, you make beauty out of broken things, you make beauty out of my mess, you make beauty, you make beauty out of my brokenness. So I give it to you. All right, we're going to move on. But as a church, we just commit to going lower still, to humbling ourselves even lower, to refreshing our commitment to him, not just to this church or us as pastors, but to him, to the kingdom. Often asks for a new level of commitment because there's a new level of responsibility. There's a new level of exposure. There's a new level of growth that's even about to hit this church. And he's saying, are you committed? Because if you're committed to God, you'll be committed to the things of God. But if you're committed to man, you easily get tired. You easily get burnt out. You easily get frustrated. So we renew our heart and our commitment to your kingdom. For the legacy of God to be built in this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap.
Come on, let's give him a shout. Hallelujah! We give it away! We give it away! We give you our lives! We surrender! We surrender! We're running! We're running! We're not weary! We're running! We're going to see what the end will be! We're going to see what the end will be! Oh, fully committed. Fully committed. <laughs> fully yielded. Fully committed to the cross. Fully committed to the good news. Fully committed to our freedom. Fully committed to be whole. Fully committed to be healed. We're fully committed. To love well to the end, we're fully committed. Oh. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but just some of you guys. And you were like, I thought I was committed, and the Lord's like, more. More, even more. Not committed to your own name, your own fame, but my name committed to my ways not your ways but committed to my name we strip off every other thing we strip off every other thing we strip it off we strip it off everything that has pulled us in every other direction we're fully committed I want them to say look at her she is crazy she is a, a fanatic look at her she runs for God without with recklessness she runs without regret. She runs without looking back. She's fully committed. Fully committed. Let your commitment become a threat to the enemy. Let your commitment become a threat to the kingdom of hell. Some of you, the enemy's messing with you because she says you're not fully committed. And he knows it. He knows it. He knows when you dip. He knows when you get frustrated. He knows when you get offended. But in this moment, we set our eyes. We set our eyes as flint. We set our face as flint. And we say, hell, you're not going to cause me to backslide. You're not going to cause me to lose direction. You're not going to cause me to lose my wit. You're threatened by my, committed and my commitment, and I know it. Hell is threatened by your commitment. He knows the ones that are committed. He don't mess with them the same way that he messes with some of us. He tries, but he knows now nah, they're too sold out. They're too far gone. They're too far gone. They're too far gone. <laughs> oh! There's a place in God of no return. There's a place in God of no return. Take me there. Take me there. Take me there! Take me there! Oh, I want to be so gone in you, God. <laughs> hey, so gone. <laughs> so gone in you, God. Let the world look upon me like I'm a fool. I want to be so gone, so committed, so into you, so focused, so given over to your ways. So give it over to your plans, God. I want to be the burning, burning one. I want to be the sold out ones. Oh, another level of commitment. The thought I was radical before. Let me take it up a notch. Let me take it up a notch. Let me let it take it up. Let me take it up a notch. Set a fire under my feet, Lord. Let me burn for you. Let me burn. Let me burn. Oh, Jay. come on, we're the burning ones. We're the burning ones. We're the ones that are so far gone. It doesn't matter what your family is saying. It doesn't matter how your friends look at you. You're so far gone. Deeper still. Hey. We are the burning ones. 
burning ones, burning ones. Hey. <laughs> oh, fully committed, fully committed, fully committed, fully committed. So far gone, I'm so far gone. I'm so far gone, I'm so far gone. The world looks upon me and they say I'm out of my mind. But I have your mind and I'm so far, so far gone. Burn me a little harder, burn me a little brighter. Let me shine, let me shine, let me shine, let me shine, let me shine. Let me shine. I won't be hidden, I won't be hidden. We won't be hidden. Let us burn. Burn us up, Lord. Burn me a little hotter. Light me a little brighter. Let me burn. Let me burn. Burn me a little hotter. Light me a little brighter. Let me burn. Let me burn. Come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. Under a bush or no. We want to burn. Come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. I wanna burn. I wanna burn. I don't care. I wanna burn. No longer hidden. A city on a hill. We're gonna burn. No more hiding. No more hiding. No more hiding. You gotta burn. You gotta burn. You gotta burn. Burn. You gotta burn. You gotta burn. No more hiding. No more hiding. You gotta burn. Some of y'all, you were told you were too much. You were too big. Your dreams were too big. You were told you're doing too much. But the Lord says, burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. No more hiding. No more hiding. No more hiding. Oh. He's lighting a fire for radical obedience in this room. He's lighting a fire for radical passion to live for God like never before. To be reckless, meaning that you will go for him no matter who's looking. Yes. Let jealousy arise for the burning ones. Let people look upon you and say, I want to burn like that. I want to burn like that. I want to love like that. I want to walk like that. So far gone. Yeah. Deeper still. There's God and then there's God. <laughs> There's God, and then there's God. There's church, and there's God. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reckless ones. How dare they pray for people in the mall? How dare they give generously? How dare they forgive those that hurt them? How dare they? Because we're so far gone. We are dead to this world and alive in Christ. So far gone. I can't believe they didn't get offended because they're so far gone. I can't believe they moved on so easily because they're so far gone. I can't believe they didn't give up when they were sick because they're so far gone. I can't believe they didn't quit God when they had no because they're so far gone. We know him beyond our circumstances. We know him beyond what's on our body. We know him beyond what's in our bank accounts. We know him beyond what's happening in marriage. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. Oh, you don't want to come? You think I'm doing too much? That's fine because I'm far gone. Nothing will separate me from my devotion to the kingdom of God come if you're coming stay if you're staying come if you're coming stay if you're staying
commitment, commitment. Consistency, consistency. Not when someone is hounding you, but just because you're in God. You can hold yourself responsible to your emotions, to your responsibilities. You're in God. Nobody has to check on you. You're in God. Too far gone. Too far gone. You can give me all your reasons that he doesn't exist, but I know I'm too far gone. I have seen and I know. You can't take that away from me. Too far gone. And we pray for our brothers and sisters in China and in the Middle West that have apprehended the knowledge of what it is to be in Jesus and to preach the gospel to the death. To preach the gospel as they're being burnt alive. To preach the gospel when they're being stoned because they say I'm too far gone. To live is Christ. To die is gain. To live is Christ and to die is gain. What can man do unto me? I am too far gone. Yeah, they talk about me, so what? I am too far gone. Too far gone. That's not going to pull me out of my place in God. That's not going to shift me of my knowledge in God. We're too far gone. Deeper, 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 deeper. We want to go deep and then deeper still. We want to go deep and then deeper still. Take us to the core of you, God. Take us to the depth, to the depth, to the depth of you. This is not a message for adults. This is for our teenagers. These are for our children. You can be too far gone. Not when you're 80 or 26. Now, now, be so sold out now. Be so filled with the Holy Spirit now. I know it may be hard at school, but it will be worth it. They'll be sneaking and coming to you for prayer. Nobody else is looking. They'll be calling you and saying, how can I know the God that you know? Be so sold out that you become a threat to the enemy. Every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, no one gets left behind. We're going for God. We're going for God. He's here, but there's more. There's God, and then there's God. There's encounter, and then there are encounters. There's revelation, and then there's mysteries. Take us deep, God. Not so we can say we're deep, so that we can come and feed a dying world. So we can restore broken lands and places. I was telling my husband, I said, I want to do missions. Yeah, I, you know, digging a well is really important. But the kind of missions I want to do is I want to be able to go into cities and change the whole sewage system. Like I want to change the whole plumbing system. Emerging prophetic and apostolic women in Washington, D.C. And my girlfriends had been you know, wanted me to join them. And I was like, yes, I'm going to make it. I'm going to try my best to be there. Uh, Cindy Jacobs organized it. Prophetic voices from all over the world came. But when I went to Africa, we came back Wednesday night. I was like, it's just not, it's not going to work. Like, I'm going to be exhausted. I need to get my children back home so they could be accustomed and, you know, get back to their routine. And I started getting frustrated. And I, I was telling my husband, I said, I don't know, I, maybe I missed a moment. Maybe I missed something because, I, you know, I feel like I'm in there, but I'm also still on the outside. Like I get so far in one place and then I'm, I'm not fully in that place. Maybe I need to, you know, invest in these other, you know, just building partnerships and friendships because we're very focused. We're focused on what we're building here at Legacy and what we're doing in our, um, in our business. And the Lord began to talk to me and he, he began to say, you know, those women, they all have amazing mantles and assignments on their life, but none of them have been called to do what you're called to do. And part of the business and governmental mantle that's on Pastor Soso and I's life is not just so that we can go plant churches in regions. It's so that we can change cultures and governments of a people group. And so your training, this is what the Lord is telling me, is going to look very different than some other people's training. Because it's not just within the church walls. And obviously there are women there that are not just called within the church walls. I think sometimes we, we put what we're called to do and who we are within what we have seen. When God, what is God is trying to do in your life? 
that's never been seen before. And we get frustrated because we feel like we're not in or we're missing opportunities or we're out of sync with God. But if we could hone in on the big picture of our life. And the thing about being a pioneer is that what you're called to do, others have never done. And that's why it feels very lonely sometimes. But the Lord is calling us into this place of being so focused and so committed to what he has put in our hands here at Legacy Center Church. If you're in a team, if you're part of the department, full commitment. I feel like some people here are, this is going into rebuke. Sorry, guests. You have divided attention. It's like, I'm here to serve, but I really want to build my business. I'm here to serve, but I really want to build my own ministry. And you cannot get what you're supposed to get out of this season if you're not fully committed. Some of you guys are in a training season and you think you're in a building season. Some of you guys are in learning season and you feel like you should be launching. And the Lord is saying that there are seasons of full commitment. There are certain things in God you cannot do one foot in and one foot out. The Lord promotes us when we maximize the season that we're in. A lot of us try to outgrow our own season, ourselves out in certain places. And you know that you've pushed yourself out because it's not prospering. It's a lot of hard work. It's frustrating. But when you maximize where you're planted, you naturally outgrow that space. And so God, we just stay fully committed. We fully committed to this church, fully committed to our assignments, whatever our roles are and where you're calling us because we know we've turned the corner in the month of July and there is more that is coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise all over this place. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome to Legacy Center Church. This is our 11 a.m. service. We're so glad to have you guys. If there's any first-time guests, could you guys stand so we could acknowledge you guys at this time? First-time guests, we welcome you guys. We bless you guys. Thank you for coming. Are there any second-time guests? Do we have any second-time guests with us this morning? Second time guests. No second time guests. At this time, you guys can place your attention towards the screen for the announcements. Good morning, Legacy. We hope you've downloaded Legacy Music's first single, Welcome Home. It's available on all digital music outlets. Our Supernatural Kids and Teens event is almost here. Parents, teachers, kids, teens, you're all invited. If you still need to register, visit LegacyCenterChurch.org. Legacy Center Church, along with Destiny Training Academy, presents a series of impactful events. Mark your